tribe welcome back to my channel so I'm back home finally and from now on we're gonna have our regular schedule for 7 to 10 day predictions look guys what happened when I came home I realized it was so freaking hot my mom told me that it, it was really hot in Lithuania when I was in London even my candle turned gray you know so a lot of you guys have been asking me for a relationship reading uh, specifically I've been noticing singles asking for it so we're gonna do a fun video today I'm going to be asking cards to describe what kind of future partner are you attracting now why am I saying what kind of future partner you are attracting is because depending on your vibration you attract certain people so let's say if you started doing certain things that are different or changing your vibe uh, within the next month or so you may have um, a different outcome so just something to keep in mind I'm gonna be shuffling on camera guys and let's go so I'm gonna set up the piles we're gonna be using the Game of Thrones tarot to give us an idea of this person, who they are, maybe personality wise. Pile number one, who is this person, please? Pile number two, can you hear the thunder? It's uh, very nice, it's very warm. Summer thunder, it was raining just a minute ago. Three, who is this person? Pile four. By the way, my personal readings are back in stock. Hypnosis isn't in stock just yet. I want to fully come back on track before I offer this. Okay, let me see what other questions I want to ask. What's important to them? What is important to this person? Pile number one. If you want to uh, skip this, you can. What's important to this person? But what i want to ask is specifically what's going to be important for this person around the time when you meet okay what's important to this person all right let's yep 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 better four pile number four what's important to this person All right, all right. And now, what's gonna attract you to this person? What's gonna attract you to this person? What's gonna attract you to this person, panel number one? What's gonna attract you to this person? Pile number two. What's gonna attract you to this person? Felt like for pile two, I wanted two cards. I'm gonna stick with it. Pile number three. What's gonna attract you to this person? And pile number four. What's gonna attract you to this person? All right. So guys, as usual, we have four piles. You can choose by number, but I'm pretty sure you already know, guys, which deck is yours. We're gonna be pulling more cards as we go. Pile number one, two, three, and four. Do your thing, meditate, and I'm gonna see in timestamps. 
Hey Palawan people, so let's see what is happening with you. Okay. Who is this person? We have the Temperance from the Game of Thrones Tarot. Mm hmm. All right, I'm just gonna put all cards on a table. We have the Queen of Cups, and then we'll start talking. And we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, today I'm not taking any reversals, unless I'm really being pushed to. But let's see, overall vibe of this person. Listen, this is someone who's pretty serious, I must tell you. This is someone who is serious, who is very balanced. I really like this person's vibe, to be honest. Mm, this is someone who is very focused on themselves internally. They will be around the time when you'll meet them. You know, interestingly enough, for a couple of you, I'm seeing either you or this other person um, is going to be told about this connection already <laughs> in the past, you know? Mm, one of you will definitely know that you've been told about this, either by psychic or if you are doing readings yourself. This is someone who loves stability and someone who likes to feel secure wherever they at. I don't think this this is someone who likes to just throw their life, life up in the air and say, okay, you know, let's travel, let's mm, sell everything and let's travel around the world. Um, at least not around the time when you'll meet them. Because what they focused on is their inner balance as well as their financial balance. This is someone who is very emotionally intellectual, I must say. Someone who is very in touch with themselves and, and what they want in life and what they need. And around the time when you'll meet, this person is going to be, um, I want to say, exploring more of their emotions. I'm not seeing that this is going to be someone who will be too open at, at the very beginning with how they feel. Um, they, they might take some time to express themselves because they, they are very observant. This is someone who needs to observe a situation for a little bit longer in order to decide what they want to do next and how they want to proceed with this, con with this connection. Now, this person might have a connection with books. Um, uh, they might be um, very good at calculations or formulas I'm seeing. Now, this is being a little bit specific. I'm being a bit specific here, so don't take everything for granted because there are a lot of people watching this. But this person is giving me a very zen vibe, okay? That's what kind of vibe this person has. Zen vibe. Sometimes they might uh, be a little bit stuck up because they, they have specific ways of doing things in their life and they got used to it so much that it might be difficult for someone else to come around and change their perception on certain things um, or to give them or, their, or to push advice on them. They probably will not like that. But don't think that this is impossible. Um, it's almost like this person is so used to relying on themselves and their own advice that it might be difficult for them to change that, okay? Let's dig a little bit deeper. I'm gonna be using the textured tarot. Let's see. Tell us more about this person. Tell us more about this person. We have justice. We have seven of pentacles. We have nine of cups. Okay, listen, whoever this person is, they are, they better wait than 
regret making fast decisions. Um, this is someone who is not rushing. This is someone who knows that everything is going to fall into places in life. All they have to do is to analyze situations, um, analyze why certain things have happened. This might be someone who is somehow connected to legalities or formalities, maybe they're working in that field, or someone who is just overall very fair and is seeking for fairness um, for all parties involved. This is someone who is very patient as well. This person knows they're very, they're very self-confident, but um, you won't see that. I think this person will not show it to everyone. Once you'll start talking with this person one-on-one -on -one and have a bit of a deeper conversation, you'll realize how strong, how capable, and how self-confident they are. Because, you know, usually self-confident people, they don't um, run around shouting to everyone that, look, look at me, you know, how well I'm doing. This is the quiet type, right? The quiet, assertive type of person who knows that whatever they are seeking for, they're going to get it in the long run. And it's very connected to their inner peace as well as their finances. This, this person is not obsessed with money. This is someone who uses money wisely for their own comfort. Money is just a tool, I'm hearing. Money is just a tool for me to feel peaceful, for me to do things that I like. How are you going to meet this person? How are you going to meet this person? Okay, it's um, not... <laughs> okay. Um, this person is not too far away. Okay, however you want to interpret it. This person is not too far away. Around the corner. Somehow music might bond, music might bond, I can't speak, music might bond you two together or travel. Um, you might meet this person um, in a place where music is very beautiful or you are going to, even if you're going to be chilling with your friends and suddenly you everything just goes quiet and you hear the music you actually hear it in the background maybe lyrics um, it's very connected to the sounds wherever you meet uh, beautiful sounds um, appear I'm hearing for a couple of you this is going to be uh, around the time when you'll be by the water or the place that has beautiful water in it crystal clear yeah it might be either or you know it's either a social event of some sort um, or somehow music will bond you too right so sometimes we um, let's say if you if you're online you might compliment someone's music and you bond that way there can be many ways so try to uh, keep an open mind when it comes to specific situations for others of you, it's on the road. And on the road, it's to do with travel. Okay. I want to see how will your relationship be like with this person? How will your relationship be like with this person? How will your relationship be like? is very mysterious very magical emotionally based um, you know what I'm hearing is gonna be difficult to explain how you two make each other feel to other people because it's gonna be something that you haven't experienced before it's very mystical it's very mysterious it's very magical um, almost like you can't find words for it a very spiritual connection that's for sure very spiritual you know what song rang in my head Ooh, it's been ages let me try and find it it's so old 
It's so, so old. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. It's by Finley Quay Dice. Um, and lyrics go I was crying over you, I'm still smiling, I think of you. Where your garden have no walls, breathe in the air if you care. You compare, don't say farewell. Nothing can compare, and these are the lyrics that I heard. To when you roll the dice and swear that you your loves for me, nothing can compare. So, for me, it's um, almost like a, almost like a forever type of thing here, guys. You know, you have two majors here when it comes to how your relationship will be like. You're starting with the high priestess then you have the sun card it's very healing and it's very purifying obviously for all relationships there will be ups and downs but this one is the most majestic of them all i'm hearing okay this relationship will have a very very big impact on you both let's see and we have seven of pentacles twice here. It does seem like at first one of you guys might be a little bit afraid to step towards this connection. So I'd say be aware of self-sabotage. It's too good to be true, you know? What if I get uh, hurt? What if, what if, what if? Um, for this, you will have to have an open heart an open heart and it seems like you are going to be in a place of joy yourself let's see how you're going to be feeling like just before meeting this person or what's gonna be important let's see what cards show what's gonna be happening in your life what's gonna be happening in your life You have a lot of swords. You have the five of swords. You have the queen of swords. You have the eight of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you have the four of wands. Okay, let's look at this. And I really want to take the ace of pens here. It seems like it belongs here as well. I do think um, that you, it's almost like a story here. You might encounter a situation just before you meet this person where either someone lets you down or you let someone down but because of that you um, you learn how to speak up how to express your opinion better um, you becoming much better when allowing yourself to say what you think um, and maybe before you were not you were maybe shy or you were not you didn't want to cause any drama but in that way, if you stay silent, you are not true to yourself. So first of all, there is a situation that's going to be teaching you with someone else to stay true to yourself and to speak up what your needs are or about... Um, I don't want to dig too deep into what, what's, gonna, what's going on here because for all of you it's going to be different. But overall, there is some kind of conflict happening here or, or arguments. And that's what's going to teach you to express yourself better and afterwards you are focusing on what matters to you the most here your work and your domestic environments environment will be your priority i wouldn't be surprised if you had an opportunity to move somewhere very quiet um, or on your own or in the place that makes you feel like home and you want to make your home your temple you're gonna have a very beautiful and very peaceful home environment that's what's the most important thing i think before meeting this person and since you both radiate that peace 
and you both are somehow focused on your finances and career here, that's gonna bring you two together. Maybe you both will need a break, right? And you wanna go out and socialize or go and visit a gig or travel and take a break. And here you go, you know, two people meeting at similar, I wanna say, yeah, <laughs> I wanna say similar spaces. Similar places because why I'm saying similar because what I'm seeing where you stay and where this person stays, I'm seeing a little mountain uh, between you two, but something's gonna happen where you're gonna be spiritually guided both of you to be in the same space, in the same location, okay? Because I'm not seeing you two going and meeting straightforwardly like this. I'm seeing you two staying in slightly different places. I don't know how to express that feeling. But then something happens that day where you both are being led to a specific location or venue, right? So that's quite interesting. That's quite interesting. Let's see what else we can get from this. Read. You know what? I want to ask, what will this connection teach you? Or what you will improve? What will this connection teach you? What will this connection teach you? What will this connection teach you? How to get what you want. Especially when it comes to your um, material things. I don't know why. It's, just, it's very focused on what I have and what I have. It allows me to do things that I want to do. You know, It's not materialistic. I'm not getting it that way. But it, there is an underlying feeling of, hey, you know, money for me is for this and that and that i don't look at money the same way you know like maybe other people do and maybe other people find it weird but for you what this connection is going to bring is more i'm literally hearing more power to you so it can be spiritual abilities that will be hyped elevated but these are connected your your stability and your finances are is connected to your spirituality here okay um so whatever you do you do it by heart you know what kind of abilities you have and therefore you attract more and more very naturally and somehow by meeting this person it's it's double the uh, amount i'm hearing double the opportunities okay what will this person teach you that you were not that good at before or you needed to improve on? <laughs> Happiness. This is beautiful, man. We have sun twice here. Maybe no one else made you that happy before or you never felt um, fully happy with your previous partners and now you're gonna be like, whoa, is that how it should feel like? that how it is for people you know and destiny i mean come on this is very spiritually guided this whole connection you're not going to miss it you both will not miss each other that's for sure this is not a passenger type of connection this is predestined type of connection okay this you gotta meet each other look at these you gotta meet each other you know um this reminds me of what you do and what you talk about and what kind of soul contracts you sign in life between lives right before you incarnate again when i'm looking at this life right okay sayonara now i know what i need to learn um or who i need to meet in order to teach me this and that and that in this lifetime this is one of those connections that's for sure yeah it does seem like for some of you you maybe have lost faith that people like that are possible to meet and this person is here to change your perception what are you going to teach this person we have temptation which is the vortex what are you going to teach this person and partnership see how beautiful this is it's almost like 
the, that vortex and the two of cups when reading them both together you can't you just cannot be without one another it's almost like it keeps pulling you in um i think when it comes to teaching them something this person might have relied on themselves for a long time and i don't think this person has felt such an attraction but this is beyond beyond physical okay this is beyond physical it's very spiritual very emotional um this person hasn't felt it with anyone and you are showing to them how that might feel like it's um it might be very difficult for this person to get separated from you but it's not in a toxic way it feels like two of these people have been wondering how it would feel like to have someone who matches their vibe completely and then they meet one another and they're like shit oh that's true you know this is possible because i think for a lot of you maybe you've lost hope or you're like mm, rainbows and unicorns you know me i'm not that type of reader who who likes to focus only on light and rainbows and unicorns right i'm all about balance but here what i'm sensing i'm sorry to say there is a lot of rainbows and unicorns here okay obviously through you're gonna teach one another a lot of things what shows up in the reading here is the most important energy right for you to pay attention to for you to know about one of you may have had trust issues in the past let's see what else do we need to know about this connection i don't even know for how long i've been talking for pile one this reading i think is going to be nearly half an hour what else do you need to know about this connection i don't have any question whatever you need to know please let's let gravity do the work soulmate we know that right we know that no need to you know what the soulmate is telling me you're gonna have one feature that's very similar we have free yourself which, which says it's time to take back control of your life yeah these two people definitely won't be able to meet until both of them have control of their lives this it's i don't think it would work otherwise you don't have to be fully healed you know sometimes people are obsessed with healing oh my god i have to heal this i have to heal that and we make it work and then it becomes it becomes too much it's all about balance right live your life to the healing at your own pace don't forget to enjoy yourself as well and other people around you whilst you are uh, recognizing what it is that your soul needs to learn your soul needs to I want to say clear in this lifetime so that's what I'm saying you know if there if one of these parties will be in some kind of dramatic situation or chaos they I don't I don't I don't see the meeting until they decide hey listen I need to take a break or I really need to go out there and and do things that I love because the meeting spot seems to be a place that has a very nice vibe very light-hearted i'm seeing a, an image of a child now which represents an inner child of both of these people see both of these people that i'm talking about are pretty serious okay um it's not that they take life too seriously but they have their values their morals in place and they are very determined and there will be a time when they both will need to just go and get their hair, hair loose you know and to just have some fun in order to seek for a better balance because one of them in particular might be a little bit overworked or have forgotten how to have fun right and worth waiting for just to keep in mind yeah <laughs> i mean you know what i don't really like pulling cards saying worth waiting for because it you know the way it sounds like you just sit there and wait go out there and live your life you already know this but i just want to remind it um, for someone who might be new to this channel because I'm all about doing you guys and loving the people who are around you right now and just 
embrace what this life has to offer. And I hope this made sense. This was quite an interesting scenario. It reminded me of a movie type of scene, you know, how these people will meet because it might be very, it's very unexpected because I don't think that both of these people will be actively looking for a partner at the time when they meet. Um, this might be a very innocent type of meeting one another, you know, just like a conversation that starts or mm, something that's not going to be a, a blast, something that's not going to be like, whoa, look at this person or whoa, you know, it's going to be very grounded, very natural, very organic. Okay. I hope this made sense, pal one. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon. Hey, pile number two people. So let's see what we have. We have the five of spears describing this person, which is the five of wands. Then we have the judgment. Okay, what's important to this person around the time you meet judgment. We're going to pull more cards in a minute. What's going to attract you to this person? We have the six of cups as well as the hero fund. Woo. Wow. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I think for pile number two, we're gonna do things a bit differently. For pile one, I started reading straight away. Here, I wanna continue the story. So let's take the Game of Thrones tarot and let's see a little bit more who is this person, Five of Spears. This is someone who is very competitive, okay, straightforwardly. Someone who's super competitive. We have the Four of Cups. This is someone who doesn't want to miss opportunities in life. And I think it's very connected to their past, especially when they were growing up. Maybe they didn't have enough opportunities. Maybe they didn't see their parents have enough opportunities or they um, were not as uh, maybe um, goal driven. And what they want from their life, they don't want to miss anything. I'm literally hearing, I don't want to miss a thing, you know? Tell us more about this person. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. Okay, bottom of a deck, we have the Tower. And see in this, in this deck in particular, there is a puppy looking at that mountain, seems like. What I want to say, this person is almost like around the time when you meet, um, they're going to be going for a massive transition for themselves. That's for sure. They are going to be changing um, their mindset a little bit. I'm hearing, I don't have to fight that hard. I have to take a minute for myself and to realize where I want to go next. They are leaving something behind, that's for sure. Let's see what that is. Four of coins, something that they were used to, something that was engraved in their mind. I can only do things one way, or I'm so used to this thing, or, or job, or, or home environment, um, and they're going to want to change things around. I think um, just before you meet, I wouldn't be surprised if this person had some issues when it comes to either feeling frustrated or... needing healing but this is very physical maybe they'll have to take a break for themselves in order to heal their bodies because this person will have gone through quite a lot i'm seeing here what is this connected to please what is this connected to we have the hermit yeah their own spiritual evolution i want two of these as well we have two of swords, decisions, decisions, and nine of cups. Yeah, um, they, they'll know around the time that you meet them, they will know that they have to change the way they have been doing things. And this is not gonna be a comfortable spot to be in, but they'll know that they have to make a decision, I gotta go. So it can be a physical move or it can be emotional movement forward, right? I wanna work on this, I wanna change things around because 
intuitively they're going to be feeling that the their happiness is around the corner but before that they had they have to go and explore their soul a bit you see we had the card saying what's going to be the most important to them judgment kept um judgment showed up then we have the hermit as well this is very spiritual this is all about spiritual growth um even if people you know are not spiritual even if they won't call it that way it's going to be part of it anyways it's for them to step up their game and to finally see that they can achieve everything that they want to achieve in particular one dream that they have one goal that they have on their mind what is this goal what is this goal queen of coins um two different scenarios for some of you to improve relationship with a female particular uh, particularly mother image in their life it can be grandma it can be mother um, they want to improve that connection or they want to do something for them I want to help you out I I want to fulfill your dreams now for others of you they want to be that person they want to become that person who's capable of caring for others and it's um it's to do with finances it's to do with their stability they want to be the person who can look after other people what's gonna attract you towards this person mm, you're gonna feel that this person is not a stranger to you even if you haven't seen them in your life before now this can be six of cups can represent a a get together um a bond strong enough strong in, i can't speak today i can't, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> strengthening the bond um of two people who've known each other right or two souls that they known each other in past lives this is either or you might see this person um as someone who serves as a mentor a guide a helper or someone who has a lot of wisdom or experiences that they have learned from to offer um, it's almost like this person you'll feel like this person has a key to what it is that you've been looking for you wanted to open open that door for a while but they opened it first and they're gonna help you out I think to grow spiritually as well because this person will be holding already the book um, the book of experiences here by the time when you meet and maybe you're gonna need their wisdom yeah you know how this feels like they have gone through something in the past already and around the time when you will be going through something similar they'll be capable of explaining things and guiding you and being that strong shoulder to lean on um, overall this can be a mentor of some sort um, right so maybe someone that you come across that's going to be your mentor someone that you want to learn from yourself or this can be just the type of um, you know person that you're going to be attracted to someone who tends to be um, a mentor for everyone around them right maybe sometimes even without recognizing it themselves all right let's see what questions I want to ask for pile number two this is a bit different how are you going to meet how are you going to meet pile number two the tower is here again we had a tower at the bottom yes yeah, definitely around the time when things will shift an expected shift will take place let's see um, in the middle of this tower card there is an owl this is very connected connected to wisdom here this relationship is going to provide a lot of wisdom we have the knight of pentacles I'm hearing I've been chilling and something unexpected has happened and now 
where do I go what do I do because my life has been peaceful until this has happened and you see this is interesting because we said that this person will have to choose which way to go the same way like you it can be connected to locations it doesn't have to right uh, but it seems like there is a chain connected to one of these wands and the tower is going to be destroying that chain something that's, that has been holding you back I'm hearing everything will start moving really quickly when you meet this person and the shift will take place almost immediately how are you going to meet strength how are you going to meet oh there is one card mixed up but i want to take it because i think it's meant to be we have two of pentacles yeah decisions decisions juggling things two opportunities we have the king of pentacles how are you going to meet i'm hearing you're going to meet because of someone who is very mature someone might be someone else might be involved in this connection somehow um this is not a third party type it's almost like through someone you might get connected to this person and then you might have to take a leap of faith around the time when you meet you are going to be super indecisive i feel like for pal two you usually know exactly what to do and where to go but around the time when you meet this person your intuition will be challenged and you're gonna be like damn so many things are changing um i'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable here and you have judgment for yourself as well you see how you're vibing both of you judgment judgment um so we see you're going through similar situations but on different um time frames here for you specifically it's um you stepping up your game when it comes to your independence you're free from anything or anyone that holds you back like I talked about that chain, right? The tower will knock any chains down. You're going to be freed from it. And new opportunities will start coming into your life. You might be very drawn to learning something new here. Pile number two, Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, a lot of green color. Um, you're going to want to focus on development, but it does feel like it's connected to either your business or your career. I want to focus on that now I'm hearing I want to focus on that maybe you're gonna be proposed to opportunities and you're like I don't know which way to go or you're juggling two jobs a hobby maybe and a job or um, business and your um, regular job yeah and the one that pays the bills if your business is quite new you're gonna be pretty busy around that time it seems like what's gonna be important when it comes to meeting this person Balance. Balance and taking care of your physical body. Because you might be a little bit all over the place. So don't lose your head, it's the same. Yeah? And you listen to your intuition, as we said before, with a high priestess. Your intuition knows exactly what to do and where to go. Okay. Let's take two of these. We have... Ah, uh, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's a renewal type of situation here. You're gonna go for a massive shift. You know, you you might have to let go of something that you are used to as well. You know, you're gonna be like, oh, but you know, this is so dear to my heart. Even if you feel like this thing or job or um, environment is expired for you already, right? <laughs> um, you might not want to let it go, but you're gonna be push towards an upgrade that's for sure yes it might feel uncomfortable but that upgrade will be needed for you here let's see what you're learning from this shift 
what you okay how are you gonna be like what's gonna be important before you meet them what's gonna be important for you to let go i'm hearing okay what's gonna be important for you to let go before you meet them one more card i don't like to read justice only on its own okay so ten of wands seven of pentacles and justice okay 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 yeah you before you meet this person you're gonna be uh, doing so many things I'm hearing or thinking about so many things that that's not almost like it's not healthy for you anymore you gotta let go of one of those wands um, because you've been doing it for a while on your own now and maybe you tend to overwork yourself or you tend to um, stay in your head for too long and it's almost like a repetitive thing um, justice is saying let's seek for balance when it comes to ten of wands right let's seek for balance in um, how much you you take on your shoulders let's see how you're gonna be like after you meet this person you probably are perfectionists and I think this connection will teach you how to loosen up a little bit let's see what is this connection going to teach you what did I say? A fool, right? To loosen up a little bit, jump into new ventures, feel free, experience new things, experience life. I think this person somehow will allow you to get rid of some of your fears that you had. We have manifestation, which is the magician here. After you meet this person, what are they going to teach you? Ooh! okay thank you and the queen of swords resilience yeah you see you becoming much tougher and you becoming much better at getting what you want and it's somehow connected to your throat chakra as well here after you meet this person maybe this person is going to be you know they're pretty great at um speaking their mind that's for sure and maybe that's something that they're going to help you with or teach you or maybe it's connected to writing something because for some of you uh it can be connected to um, um, blogging or writing a book or something along those lines but the way you speak and what you say is going to be very important and it seems like for some of you I think because you have been I'm seeing a lot of you know tasks almost like on a screen um, and you keep jumping between tasks that didn't work for you for a long time I'm hearing you're gonna prioritize things a bit differently therefore you will be able to achieve much more than before and it's somehow impacted by this person let's take a look at what you need to know about the relationship between you two how will your relationship be like this is like a it's um, it's a challenging type of period in your life that's going to shift things around and it's very needed for both of you. How will your relationship be like? Knight of Swords, how will your relationship be like? Eight of Cups. Maybe you're gonna have challenges coming together, or maybe there's gonna be some type of delay to this connection I'm seeing here. Six of Wands, Strength. Because one of you needed to take extra time before you meet. It's almost like, you know, telepathically on a soul level, a higher self, right? Uh, one of these people who are involved in this relationship said, hey, you know what? I need a little bit more time to deal with what I have to learn on my own before we meet. We meet. But this is happening on a soul level, right? Out of 3D. And these people are like, okay, listen, we're going to meet a little bit later, uh, a bit further down the line. Um, 
around the time when we're going to be going for a similar phase again because it's it's very connected to the phase that you're going to be going through both of you are stepping up your game yes it might be uncomfortable for both of you but it's very needed to learn what you got to learn for this relationship to happen right and um, it's not to say that you have to you know start uh, stressing about what you have to learn just to attract this person that's not how it happens usually you know we have to remember to enjoy our lives as well as learn from what it is that's being shown to us it's saying just for some of you i'm feeling very like i'm feeling stiff it's saying loosen up a bit loosen the grip everything will fall into places but be ready for changes be ready for changes you're gonna overcome any changes both of you this is a very successful relationship as you, as you can see strength and six of wands this is um connected on a soul level um it's since this uh, strength card is looking at the mirror some things might be triggering here for you you know from one another because you might be very similar and, and certain things you don't like about yourself you're not gonna like in them uh, twice more right and vice versa and it's a it's a learning type of connection before before that or during during your relationship one of you might have to take a trip or go or separate for some time but it seems like you will discuss about that both of you will discuss the situation i'm hearing listen something came up how are we going to deal with this now have two very strong characters here and two people who tend to be a little bit stuck up and I think that's why um, <laughs> you're gonna have to learn from one another how to how to truly listen how to listen with your hearts what the other one wants and how to put the other person first for both of you because maybe before you i feel like for some of you maybe before you didn't want to compromise um or didn't want to let go of certain um things that you have in life it can be you know a location it can be freedom being on your own or it can be anything really and somehow the challenge will be that both of you will have to sacrifice one thing to be together it's up to you what you want to do if you don't want to sacrifice anything you don't have to it's it depends what it is that you will want at that time right what do you what do you prioritize what do you want more you're both very strong individuals these two people will have to learn how to be in different places and still trust each other because I feel like one of you might have trust issues here and you both have this vibe of wanting to go around and visit places and travel or maybe travel for work or explore the world but somehow I have a feeling that um, it has to be done maybe because of work on on your own or the I don't know why the other person cannot always come and join and therefore both of you have to learn that whenever the, this person or both of you come back home that you fully have each other backs and you fully are devoted to one another how will this relationship be like yeah there's a lot of movement in this connection i do feel like this connection almost is going to escalate the growth for both of these people gotta go i gotta go there's a lot of movement here maybe you're both going to travel at one point together yeah we have judgment twice
we have the Empress and the Emperor here. Mm hmm Yeah, it seems like equally strong people meet together and they gotta learn how to compromise. And I think that might be the biggest challenge for some of you here, or maybe the person that I'm talking about here. Um, you both learning how to compromise. There's a very strong sexual attraction here, that's for sure. It's very physical. But at the same time, it's... Um, it's spiritual too, but for, for pile one, uh, spiritual was taking over everything. Here, first thing that I'm feeling the most is very physical. And then the experiences that you will both go through will be so precious for both. Sorry guys, again. What else do you need to know about this connection? Let me turn off my Wi-Fi. Here we go. What else do you need to know about this connection? Yeah, what did I say? We have trust. Gonna have to learn how to trust one another. We have getting to know each other. You have calling in your soulmate. Yeah, with the Six of Cups, it's pretty clear here. I want to clarify getting to know each other. It's safe for you to love, yeah. Um, for one of you, it might be difficult to be vulnerable at first. And it might take a little bit longer to jump into this connection or to be committed for one of you or maybe both of you because you need extra time. You need extra time to get to know the person, you need to know how they like, um, you need time to open up maybe yourself or vice versa and it might, this connection is not gonna be like, you know, this. It's gonna be, um, I'm seeing you keeping in touch with one another or observing one another and then slowly getting to know one another and then something is going to just be pulling you towards one another more and more uh, and then the experiences will kick in you know uh, life's lessons and you're gonna be your each other's biggest support throughout those times which will bond you very strongly together so I hope that this made sense panel number two and let me know if this made sense if it resonated if you already know who I'm talking about or you've been through this Obviously, if you'd like, tribe love you as always. Bye for now. Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number three, let's see. So who is this person? <laughs> Representation, okay, nine of coins, very nice. Then what's gonna be important for them around the time when you meet the high priestess? and what's gonna attract you towards them is the magician so already know probably what this is um what this means pile number three straight away i think uh, both of you have a an ability that's going to be pretty important for you that's going to be attracting you to one another this person has a very self-sufficient type of vibe um, I wouldn't be surprised if this person has their own business um, even if they don't they are super independent they live a very independent life and they don't probably like to be super attached or they don't probably like um, certain uh, society standards you know they tend to be a bit of a free spirit what I'm seeing around the time when you meet this person they are going to be very focused on um, spiritual development on maybe uh, working on their abilities maybe meditation yoga anything to do with um, spirituality really you know it can be something very big can be something very small something that they do for themselves in order to find peace and um, maybe even a hobby that literally connects them to their higher self more right um, and what attracts you to this person? Um, you're gonna get very inspired. 
you're gonna get very inspired you're going to appreciate how capable they are at getting stuff done um, manifesting things moving forward this is someone who doesn't stay, stay still and this is someone who gets what they want and they have a very good balance yeah, there's a, I'm feeling a very good balance between the material and spiritual, I want to say priorities, you know. Um, one day you can find them hustling, the other day you can find them meditating or doing both at once. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's what kind of vibe this is. Let's see a little bit more. Who is this person? Tell us a bit more about them. We have the King of Cups. We have the Page of Swords. We have Judgment. This person is not afraid of life challenges, that's for sure. Page of Coins, bottom of the deck two of coins yeah this is someone definitely as i said someone who likes to hustle someone who likes to keep themselves busy um someone who has gone through a lot spiritually as well as emotionally here specifically connected to maybe uh, their childhood or their own child if, the, if they have children but um, you know what i'm feeling here with the king of cups particularly in this deck this is someone who is so caring but they do not they're not going to it's almost like I'm seeing a list you know they have certain people that they're gonna care about and give everything to and the others uh, they keep a healthy distance from because when they give they give a lot so if they didn't keep the distance with everyone or they gave all of themselves to everyone that they are close with um, they would have nothing left for themselves um, you know once this person has you on that top list <laughs> you're gonna know it this is someone who will give you all their heart but someone who also is very capable of recognizing when the emotional connection um, suffers from either someone not being totally committed or someone feeling distant this person is very intuitive this person is very very intuitive and they're going to question things if they'll feel like something feels off for them um, this is someone who lives from their heart and also someone who likes to go out and play okay they like to go out and play I think they have certain hobby or maybe even a job for some of you that they love a lot and it's part of their life and it brings fun and it's their own time they do something very precious for themselves let's take a look at um, how we're going to meet guys anything that cards might be able to I want to switch decks let's take the uh haunted house tarot how are you going to meet mm -hmm. yeah the hangman I always get confused always how are you going to meet six of pens Okay, that flew. Right, four of wands, bottom of the deck, the fool. I love this fool. I hope you can see cards clearly. I know there is a shine to it. Mm. How are you gonna meet? Um, it's gonna be around the time when maybe for both of you, there is gonna be a bit of a standstill. And you're going to be trying to
almost like I want to say find what it is that sparks up your soul you're looking for your mission or you're looking for an addition to your mission you want to find a better balance between what you what you used to be good at and what you want to be good at that's what I'm seeing here um, there might be a celebration coming up as well around the time when you meet maybe you might meet during celebration or social event um, let's clarify that because for some of you I'm feeling that this person might um, live not too far away let's see what this is to do with A community this can be a part you might be connected through some kind of community okay and it seems like for some of you you will want out from that community you won't like it anymore so I don't know what this is to do with for all of you but someone um once out someone wants to leave now it can be to do with you know your domestic environment i don't want to live here anymore right it doesn't have to be as dramatic where someone's like i don't want to be a part of this community this sucks um you have a lot of messages here as usual try and filter them out and see what sits right with you in your situation right now you have justice Mm -hmm. this is interesting it's almost like um, how you're gonna meet it can be through seeking of justice too or speaking the truth and um, your both point of view on one topic will merge and maybe both of you are going to be like listen I gotta speak up about this and somehow you get connected that way here in this in this pile, pile number three it feels like I'm reading five different people so it's quite difficult for me to pinpoint only um, you know couple of ways of you guys meeting one another it seems like it's gonna be much more complicated than that and I do believe that for a lot of you in pile number three whoever has picked this pile you shouldn't even know because it's not going to serve you to your highest good to know where you're going to meet or how you're going to meet it's very hidden in a way that's why i think it's so scattered so that um whenever you do meet it happens very organically and very naturally okay let's move on let's see how will your relationship be like please pile three how will your relationship be like? Pile three. How will your relationship be like? You have the chariot. Oof. Nine of pentacles again. This one flew. You're both um, very detached and very untouchable and very free spirited. Okay, so it might be a challenge for two people like that to commit to one another, but it can definitely work. You both are seeking for freedom. Two, two horses in a chariot, the uh, black and white says, you can, find you can find balance if you're looking for it. This can be successful, right? You might um, start a business together. It's a big chance we have the page of cups let's let gravity do the work we have the ten of cups yeah <laughs> let's see the bottom of the deck you have the nine of cups I mean come on now um, your relationship seems to be uh, based on you know in other piles in pile number one for example I had I don't want to give it away in case you want to check those piles out but there were different things that I felt the most about connections right for you what I'm feeling the most is um, the um, 
bond of an inner child. I don't want to be restricted. I want to keep on playing. I want to keep on exploring. I want to create something that is of my own. And that's something that's going to bring you two together because you both will be in that vibe. You both will be hustling. You both will be doing something for yourself, for your own futures, to leave heritage or to leave something behind you that is important to you, right? It can be anything really. And that's gonna um, bond you two together because you will be able to then consult one another and help one another with your future projects, with what you are about to build, what is the next step, you know? You both have this hustle type of mindset here. You have entrepreneurial vibe. Um, and I think you're gonna love uh, being with one another because it's gonna feel like a very strong partnership. Mm -hmm. Let's see, what else do we need to know about this connection? What else do we need to know about this connection? Okay, no, wait. I want to pull from this deck. What is this going to teach you? What this connection is teaching you? See? We have recognition, three of pentacles. Somehow your relationship is very well connected as well, okay? You are partners in crime. We have regeneration. And we have imagination. You're both very creative minds, guys. And it seems like uh, the moment you meet, you're gonna have more and more ideas. And I think you might want to even expand it worldwide or do something that is international. You, you are becoming a really good team and I think more people will join over time. If you had issues when it came to your work or when it came to your projects or goals um, before, it seems like you're gonna start working, before you meet this person, you're gonna start working on those, or you're gonna approach your goals a bit differently, you're gonna kick yourself in the ass, and that's gonna bring you two together, because you both have that nine of pentacles vibe here. Listen, I'm independent, I have this to offer, you know? Um, you have something else to offer. Ooh, this could maybe work even when it comes to business. That would be great, that would be amazing. Obviously, there are feelings involved here. I'm talking mostly right about projects, but it seems like this is a priority here. Um, feelings are there. You know, there is there is love coming from both of these people, but that love is also for um, independence. So I wouldn't be surprised if both of you maybe traveled together and experienced freedom in that way together. What is this connection going to teach you or to improve in your life? Creativity. Yeah, we know this, right? You're very, you're very creative. And it's also about, um, I want to say, seeking for connections or searching for connections. You're going to become much better at knowing where to find what. Okay? You're very on point. When it comes to a task, you're very important. You're like, mm, you know what? I can go around this, you know, task or responsibility in a much more fun way. Maybe before it felt a bit mundane for you. What are you going to teach this person? What are you going to teach this person? Patience when it comes to opportunities. Healing of the broken heart. Yeah, how not to get burned when it comes to um, not getting what you want. That's what you're going to teach this person, it seems like. You're going to be like, listen, chill out, you know? What's meant for you, it's going to be yours, which maybe this person has a hard time with sometimes. Okay, let's take the... Angel, Romance Angel? I haven't used this deck for a while. What else do we need to know about this connection for final number three? Let's let gravity do the work. We have children. 
yeah, one of you might have children or both of you will have it together. You know, a child can be also a representation of a an animal. That's your baby that you're going to have together. We have retreat. This could be the one. Yeah, you, I'll, you'll know this. Pile number three, you'll know this, that that's the one. Because I think um, before, maybe for you it was a little bit difficult to... You know, the feeling you're giving me, someone who doesn't want their fun to be ruined by a relationship. And this reading is saying it doesn't have to, if you don't allow it to. Or if you find a person who has the same values. Uh, just don't push people away, okay? Let's play the deck. Stay optimistic about your love life. This is definitely someone whom you're going to end up being with. I'm seeing a lot of travels together. I'm seeing a lot of exploration. Um, again, as I said before, one of these people might have a child or a pet baby, right? <laughs> um, for some of you, you might know this person already. But you know, sometimes when people say you might know this person already, um, people start thinking about all the people that they maybe didn't have a chance with or the exes um, and they're like, no, you know, I don't want this. Sometimes it's just the person that you completely forgotten about. It's a friend of a friend of a friend, right? Um, it can be someone that you have no idea about and then surprise surprise and I think that's what life is that's why life is beautiful you know that's why I don't do overly specific readings for people because I want to keep magic in your life right I, there should be a surprise factor I would be so boring if you knew everything right it's safe for you to love so it's safe for you to love is basically saying hey you know there is a person who is going to match your vibe just don't be afraid to open your heart because the moment you close yourself off, the other one feels that they close themselves off because this person is very intuitive, right? Um, they're going to be like, mm, you know what, this person is not ready or this person doesn't even want to talk to me or they don't want to get to know the, get to know me and, you know, both get blocked, right, in a way. And uh, it's a bit more complicated to become closer and to connect and to even communicate. So I'd say have your, have your heart open, pile number three i'm feeling this vibe this feels very fun this feels very mm, goal oriented this feels very uh, exciting it doesn't feel like this relationship will tie any of these people down in an unhealthy way okay so hopefully this made sense tribe thank you for coming back love you as always i'll catch you soon <laughs> Hey tribe, whoever has chosen pile number four. So let's see what we have. A representation of this person, we have the hangman. What's gonna be important to them around the time when you meet is the seven of wands. And what's gonna attract you towards them is the empress. So for pile number four, I wanna continue stories here. Um, Cause I don't wanna leave the hangman on its own. I wanna get to business if that makes sense. Let's see representation of this person this is someone who sees the world from a bit of a different perspective than maybe many people would okay they have different ideas maybe they have different um perspective on certain things let's dig a little bit deeper into who this person is give me more hints on the personality We have the star. This is a very unique type of person. We have the seven of, we have two sevens by the way here, seven of coins. We have three of wands, bottom of a deck, six of cups. Right, um, what I want to say, the vibe that this person is giving me, this is purely intuitively, this is someone who might be a little bit closed off. Someone who might not let people in easily. 
especially around the time when you'll meet this person. It's almost like they're guarding something about themselves or they're being a little bit defensive about something. Um, and I think it's because what was done to them in the past or um, I want to say a battle that they have lost. So now whatever is precious for them, they take it serious and they take it, um, if people cross boundaries, they take it as a personal attack. This is a very specific situation. It's not going to be uh, definitely for all of you. Um, but that's something that I'm seeing here. This is someone who is a dream big type of person. Someone who's super unique. And this person gives me a vibe of an inventor of some sort. Or someone who would come up with an idea that you never heard of before. Or some type of prototype, you know. Or they would do overall things very differently than many other people. Um, they give me a vibe of a genius, you know, in a way, um, in certain area in their life. It's someone who doesn't need a lot of stuff, someone who's not materialistic, um, someone who is very minim minimalistic, I think, for a lot of you, or at least someone who's not overly focused on, you know, the next um, new iPhone or... Um, someone who doesn't need brands, someone who doesn't prioritize those types of things. This is someone who is very, um, I want to say they see, they see the world from this helicopter point of view, you know? And then they determine what's important, important to them. This person is really, really good with kids, I must tell you. They have this relatable type of energy to children i think it's because they are so unique they haven't lost that connection to their own inner child that they are very good at relating to children and very good at communicating with them and this is someone who somehow maybe would even want to protect children in some way in life maybe by what it is that they do career-wise or what they are planning to do right Maybe their job is somehow connected to it. Right, interesting. Let's take a look at... Hmm, how can you possibly... How will you possibly meet this person? I want to use the Urban Tarot for that for you guys. You're going to be attracted to this person um, because they, they have this vibe that I don't need anyone else or I have I have my shit together you know but they're not showing off anything that they have or what they have earned um, they just know that they have it but for you I think this is very this is energetic more than anything else more than material you're gonna be purely attracted to how um, this person holds themselves even you know how they walk how they present themselves that's what kind of vibe i'm getting here their uniqueness the potential that this person has how will you meet this person you have the nine of pentacles how will you meet this person? You have the uh, Princess of Wands. You have the Knight of Cups, which is the Seducer card in this deck. And bottom of the deck, we have Virtue card, which is the Three of Wands. Mm-hmm. Definitely in, in quite a hot setting. <laughs> you know what I thought of? I thought of um, a burlesque dance. I thought of a show where um, amazing cho uh, choreography is. I thought of a place that has a very nice interior. Wherever this is, this is... Um, this isn't just like a, a pub around the corner or a library. <laughs> this is a place where people come to relax. Some people 
might be connected in a very uh, rejuvenating type of um, location relaxed enough to work but in that place it seems like a lot of um, people who I want to say who earn good type of good good money they go to relax there so maybe the place tends to be a little bit of um, on the expensive side For some of you, I must say it might be a rehab. For others of you, there are, there are different scenarios, so please take what sits right with you. Uh, for others of you, this is definitely a, a club, um, a bar type of situation, um, an event, but if, if that's an event, the setting is quite intimate. It's not massive maybe an intimate show or in a place where I'm seeing candles and I'm seeing live music you know it's a, it has that vibe it's very intimate it's very relaxing people feel that they want to connect to one another there because it's just It's sexy. The vibe is sexy there. I mean, what can I say? For some of you, um, if you are watching this and you are a dancer, uh, specifically, I want to say a stripper, um, you might meet this person at work whilst you are dancing. And obviously, I know this is not going to be for all of you, but I had to put it out. But the initial meet meeting is going to be a pretty, I want to say for some of you, it might be a bit intimidating even. <laughs> let's, get, let's get a bit more cards, let's see. How are you going to feel once you meet this person? Tell me about the time when you meet. How you both are going to feel. We have Ace of Cups. You'll know. You'll know that something is going to happen with this connection, both of you. We have the Queen. I believe that's the Queen. A King. No, a King of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of fire in it, you know. I took a different deck and again, we have a lot of fire. I do believe that both of you are going to have either a very good banter or you're going to both be very sarcastic and tease one another. It's um, it's very scorpion-like, you know <laughs> what I'm seeing. It's um, you're not going to sugarcoat things, and it's almost like you will want to tease one another. You will want to say maybe said things that are a little bit maybe offensive, but you are testing one another to see if this person is going to take it as a joke. Or will get offended and in that way I think you're going to somehow become even closer if um, you will see that your sense of humor which will be very important here is similar and afterwards it seems like you might start talking about very deep subjects which will connect you on emotional level specifically when someone went for a very traumatic experience How are you going to see that this person when first time when you meet them? You'll think that this person is not trustworthy or they're hiding something. There's something more to them than they, than they show. You'll think that this person is not going to stay. It's just uh, maybe a one-time thing. Um, or it's just you know a flirtatious uh, partner you can have for that evening. <laughs> Uh, or someone who is um, who has the potential to be a player. Yeah, definitely, you're, you're not certain about this person. Let's see how will your relationship be like. How 
will your relationship be like five of pentacles five of wands yeah i think for for pile number fours you are you're going to feel that this person might not be in the best place to to be committed uh, to you or this is not someone that you want long term you're gonna feel it um it's gonna be very attractive you know this person is going to be really attractive but i think how it feels like the attractiveness will be because of how um dangerous this this person is it's not about danger danger but you know what i'm saying this person has something about them that is quite unstable it's almost like bond, trauma bonding you know um something unstable that seems like a challenge for you which isn't very healthy so i'd say keep your eyes open when it comes to situations like that obviously depending what it is what you, uh, what you're looking for you know if it's a short-term thing enjoy go and live your extra life but if you're wishing for someone that is healthy for you i'd say keep an eye out on this person um and i think why this is popping up and why you chose this pile is to recognize if you tend to do that and to start shifting things around so you can get what you want long term so that don't get hurt by it why are you going to be taught with this connection what are you going to be taught with this connection That you have a free will and you can change things around. I don't know what it means for all of you, but that's what I'm getting. To read between the lines. To read between the lines, bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Swords. And to feel what your intuition says to you from the get-go. Because you'll know everything the moment you meet this person. You'll know everything, how this is going to go, um, what what kind of vibe this person has. But I think the attraction is going to be so strong, it might um, take over <laughs> your intuition and you might just want to listen to your bodily instincts, which is um, obviously nothing bad if that's something that you're looking for. Because this could potentially be a very good, you know, um, short, short term kind of sexually focused relationship right but again you see it's not it's not going to end up being healthy for you it keeps showing up here so decide what you want now pile number four because for you you have an opportunity to switch it around yeah, you see, the Queen of Cups here, she knows everything that's going to happen. She feels that. She's like, yeah, I know I tend to do that. Or yeah, I know I have this pattern. Um, I should look into this. Or I've been told about this before, right? That this person could be like that. What do you need to know about this person, part number four? What do you need to know about this person? Um, they're very sexual, they're very attracted, at attractive, alluring, and they have this very strong, you know, magnetic type of vibe about them. Um, this is someone who loves to explore new things as well, I'm seeing here. I'd say keep an eye out on this person because this is someone who might be a little bit controlling at times, or might control their, they might use their charm, you know. To manipulate somehow other people and that's something that I'm not vibing with at all I'm not vibing with but you know this is for your own growth we'll learn through challenges right as well as love yeah and you can start over I do believe this is a, um, a lesson this is a a lesson for someone here we have a ton of stories at the bottom I'd say observe you know do you tend to be like that who's detached who tends to you know look for someone only 
you tell yourself i just want um sex i don't want a relationship and it, and it's it's been like this forever and you don't know how to be in relationship anymore which is tipping that balance right and you're like oh but i'm fine but i'm fine um or i'm just here for fun is it really what you're looking for and vice versa right um, is it fulfilling you? Yes, it can be fulfilling you until a certain point. It's all about balance, right? Find a good balance here, this is saying, because whatever this is, it doesn't seem very balanced, and that is why we have a couple of cards showing up as something that needs to be dropped. I'm hearing let's not lie to ourselves. Same for this person and for people watching this, if you found yourself in this pile. And let's see what it is that, you know, I'm seeing I'm seeing a, a scale and um, maybe one time you listen to your body or you listen to your mood and you seek for some someone um, for that time but then when it comes to feel like connecting on vulnerable level someone is very scared and I think this is the pattern so see what it is that is triggering you um, or you're scared of every time there is the connection approaching or what kind of um, similar person or situation you keep attracting because that's something that you can learn from and this is being given to you for that reason. I hope this made sense panel number four. Tribe, thank you for coming back. Love you as always. I'll catch you soon.